I've been riding Divi bikes for over a year now. Not every day, and not mostly in the winter. Most of the winter I don't, it's just way too cold and icy for that. But I think I've been riding them enough now that I can give a pretty good review of it. So here's my review. We can't change that everything will always change. But we'll remember this as it is today in time. We both know you won't be mine Oh, memories Defining our memories So just dropped off my daughter at school. I'm walking back home. I'm gonna work from home today. It's a slow day, so that'll be nice. But I still do have to go downtown. I have a dentist appointment that I was supposed to take care of yesterday that I rescheduled for today. Um, but I think what I might do is I think I might uh, ride a bike uh, this afternoon to get around so um, it works out uh, I went on a four mile run on the treadmill yesterday because it was raining um, my right calf is starting to bother me my left knee is starting to bother me um, so I'm thinking uh, riding a bike might be a good way to get in some cardio that's low impact so some other things to consider about Divi is Divi is strictly a, a commuter service. It's not like a, a rent a bike all day and go tour around the city and be touristy. It's not that kind of bike. They have those kinds of bikes in the city. There's another, other companies that do that. They do daily bike rentals. Divis are different. They're, they're not like a daily bike rental. They're not meant to be used that way. The way it's set up, it's intended that you use it 30 minutes at a time. If I have a ride under than 30 minutes, it's included with my with my yearly subscription. If I keep it for let's say 45 minutes, the second from the 30 to 45 minutes that period will cost me like two bucks. And then if I have it for another 30 minute period on top of that, there's an additional charge on top of that too. And so they're trying to discourage you from using it as a way of just having a bike all day. Um, but they do want you to use it for things like commuting home, riding a bike to go visit a friend and then dropping off the bike at a station over there taking it to go get groceries. So that's kind of the way it's, it's meant to be used. And so initially people couldn't figure that out in Chicago, especially the tourists, they couldn't figure it out either. And so people were, would complain because they think it would be a $7 rental for the entire day. They'd go ride the bike towards the lake, sit on the sand for the entire day. And then later when they returned the bike, uh, they would see a pretty big charge on their credit card. And they couldn't figure out why. It's because you're not supposed to use it that way. You're supposed to use it in 30 minute increments. So that's a really important part to keep in mind when you're thinking about Divi and whether it works for you. I've been riding Divi bikes for over a year now. Not every day, and not mostly in the winter. Most of the winter I don't, it's just way too cold and icy for that. But I think I've been riding them enough now that I can give a pretty good review of it. So here's my review. This happens to be a newer Divi bike, which is nice because uh, some of them are starting to get pretty ratty. But this one seems to be just about brand new. It's a three-speed bike, pretty heavy. My ultimate strategy when I, when I ride the Divi is that I don't use it as a complete bike replacement or a complete bus for public transportation. In the mornings, I still uh, will take the bus or take the train to get to work, whatever I need to do. But the way that Divi comes in handy is because it's not like Zipcar where you gotta return the same vehicle or thing that to the same spot and so I can take a bus downtown pick up a bus from downtown and then drop off that bike close to my house so that's what I do so that way in the morning 
I'm not all sweaty when I get to work. So I'm just taking the bus. But I pack a change of clothes, I pack my helmet, and then in the afternoon, I can just ride home. And so, the real benefit of Divi is that you can use it for one-way trips, which is really nice. And so, what used to be probably my most frustrating part of the day, which is the afternoon commute, now becomes a time where I get to be by myself um, and do my introvert thing, but also I can get some exercise. I like being able to commute at least you know part of the time by divvy bike because then it's already time that I don't have with my family, so I can so now I can combine like two things. If I can get something done and make it more productive. That's kind of my overall strategy for both productivity, but also for, for maximizing the things that I think that are important to me. I, uh, I tend not to like activities that take me away from my family. So golf, I used to golf quite a bit in high school. I was never very good, but I enjoyed doing it and I would go frequently. But now, you know, you have to dedicate like half a day away from your family and doing other stuff that you could be doing with your family or doing something else. And then it's just too expensive for me, both from a cost perspective, but also from an opportunity cost perspective. Definitely, I would definitely consider Chicago a much more livable city because of Divi bikes. And it looks like lots of people are using them too. I see them everywhere now. So I think that's great. Um, in terms of station availability and bike availability, um, Divi has fi you know, really figured out like when people are surging in one direction to another. They've kind of figured out which, where they, where the rushes are. And so you'll constantly see the big Divi vans bringing extra bikes to stations where they know people want to pick bikes up and removing them from the places where people want to 